Hey health champions, what if I told you that some of the most common foods you eat are quietly wreaking havoc on your liver? Stick around to find out which 10 foods might be sabotaging your health and how avoiding them could help you live a longer, healthier life. The liver is one of the most vital organs in your body, responsible for over 500 functions, including detoxifying harmful substances, storing vitamins, and regulating metabolism. But it's also one of the most vulnerable organs when it comes to diet. According to a study published in the Journal of Hepatology, an estimated 100 million Americans suffer from non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, a condition that is directly linked to poor dietary choices and can lead to liver inflammation and even liver failure. Over time, these harmful foods slowly damage your liver and the effects might be irreversible. But don't worry, by the end of this video, you'll know exactly which foods to avoid to give your liver the best chance to function properly and for you to live a longer, healthier life. But did you know why the liver actually matters? The liver isn't just any organ, it's the body's detox powerhouse. It processes everything you eat and drink, filtering out toxins and breaking down fats, proteins, and carbohydrates to give your body the energy and nutrients it needs. But when your liver is overwhelmed by poor diet, excess alcohol, or even medication, it can't perform these functions effectively. That's when liver damage begins, often silently. The scary part? You won't feel it right away. Liver disease is known as the silent killer because symptoms like fatigue, jaundice, or abdominal pain only appear when the damage is severe. Research from the American Liver Foundation shows that over 30% of Americans now have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which can progress to more serious conditions like cirrhosis and liver cancer if left untreated. This is particularly alarming because non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, unlike alcoholic liver disease, has nothing to do with alcohol. It's driven purely by what you eat. But here's the good news. By making simple changes to your diet, you can halt and even reverse liver damage in its early stages. One clinical study in The Lancet found that dietary interventions reduced liver fat in patients with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease by up to 45% in just six months. So what's really at stake here is not just liver health, but your overall longevity and quality of life. But some of the foods that cause this damage might be in your pantry right now, You'll be shocked by number six. So what foods should you avoid if you want your liver to keep working well into your 100S? Let's dive into the top 10 liver destroying foods. Some of these may surprise you, especially how damaging they are in the long term. As we move through the list, it's important to remember that knowledge is power. Each of these foods has been scientifically proven to damage liver cells but avoiding or limiting them can lead to immediate and lasting health benefits. By the time we get to Food Hash 1, you'll have the information you need to protect your liver for years to come. Let's get started with number 10. Food number 10, sugar and sugary beverages. Let's start with one of the biggest offenders, sugar. You might think sugar mainly affects your waistline, but it's even more destructive to your liver. According to a study published in the Journal of Hepatology, diets high in fructose, a sugar commonly found in sodas, processed foods, and sweets, can lead to a condition known as non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Excess sugar is converted into fat by your liver, and over time, this fat accumulates, causing inflammation and scarring. What's worse, sugary beverages like soda have been shown to be particularly harmful. A Harvard Medical School study found that regular consumption of sugar-sweetened drinks increased the risk of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease by 61%. Even fruit juices, which are often marketed as healthy, contain high amounts of fructose and can have the same negative effect. So next time you think about grabbing that soda, ask yourself, is this really worth damaging my liver for? Number 9. Processed Meats Bacon, sausages, hot dogs, Processed meats may be convenient and tasty, but they're terrible for your liver. According to the American Liver Foundation, processed meats are high in saturated fats, which can contribute to fatty liver disease by raising bad cholesterol levels and increasing liver inflammation. One study in the World Journal of Gastroenterology even found that people who consumed large amounts of processed meats had a significantly higher risk of liver cancer due to their carcinogenic compounds like nitrates and nitrites. 
these meats also contain high levels of salt, which can lead to water retention and, over time, put stress on your liver. Reducing your intake of processed meats can lower your risk of liver damage and improve overall health. But the next food on our list might be hiding in a meal you eat every day. And it's much worse than you think. Food number eight, fried foods. Everyone loves a crispy golden french fry or a plate of fried chicken, but these indulgences come with a heavy price. Fried foods are loaded with unhealthy trans fats and refined oils, which can overwhelm your liver's ability to process fats efficiently. A study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that diets high in trans fats not only contribute to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, but also increase the risk of liver inflammation and fibrosis, a condition where scar tissue replaces healthy liver tissue. When consumed regularly, fried foods can cause an overload of fat buildup in your liver, impeding its normal detoxification processes. This leads to a vicious cycle of inflammation, cell damage, and eventually liver failure. You might want to rethink that fried chicken next time. It's not just about calories, it's about long-term damage. Number seven, alcohol. This one's no surprise. Alcohol is one of the most well-known culprits when it comes to liver damage. Excessive alcohol consumption can lead to alcoholic liver disease, which includes fatty liver, hepatitis, and cirrhosis. The National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism reports that alcohol disrupts the liver's ability to metabolize fats, leading to fatty liver and inflammation. Over time, this can cause scarring known as cirrhosis, which is irreversible. Even moderate drinking can pose risks if done over long periods. The more you drink, the harder your liver has to work to detoxify your body, eventually leading to liver cells dying off faster than they can regenerate. But here's where things get interesting. The Lancet published a study that found that even just reducing your alcohol intake by 50% could improve liver health within weeks. So, while complete abstinence is the safest route, cutting back can still make a significant difference. But what if I told you there's something even more common in your daily routine that could be just as harmful as alcohol? Let's talk about number six food number six, refined carbohydrates. White bread, pasta, and pastries. These staple foods may be more harmful to your liver than you think. Refined carbohydrates have a high glycemic index, which means they cause rapid spikes in blood sugar levels. According to a study in Diabetes Care, these spikes can lead to insulin resistance, a condition in which the body can't effectively use insulin. Insulin resistance is a major risk factor for developing NAFLD, as it prompts the liver to store more fat. Additionally, research from the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition shows that high consumption of refined carbs can increase fat deposits in the liver by as much as 27%, even in people who aren't overweight. Surprised? White bread might not seem dangerous, but it's sneaky when it comes to liver damage. Number five, salt. You probably know that too much salt can lead to high blood pressure, but did you know it can also harm your liver? A study from the Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry found that excessive salt intake can cause liver fibrosis, where scar tissue replaces healthy liver tissue. This makes it harder for the liver to function properly, reducing its ability to detoxify the blood and regulate nutrients. Processed foods, canned soups, and fast food are often loaded with hidden sodium, and consuming these regularly can increase the risk of liver disease over time. Reducing your salt intake by using herbs, spices, or other flavorings can significantly lower your risk of liver fibrosis and improve overall health. You won't believe how dangerous food number four is, especially because it's marketed as healthy. Food number four, artificial sweeteners. Artificial sweeteners like aspartame, saccharin, and sucralose are often marketed as a healthier alternative to sugar, but they come with their own set of risks. Research from the European Journal of Clinical Nutrition shows that artificial sweeteners can alter gut bacteria, leading to increased liver fat accumulation and insulin resistance. Additionally, a study published in Toxicology Reports suggests that artificial sweeteners might increase oxidative stress in the liver, which can lead to cell damage over time. While they may help cut calories, their long-term impact on liver health should not be ignored. Trying to lose weight with diet soda, your liver would probably prefer water instead. Number three, fast food. Fast food is notorious for its high levels of unhealthy fats, refined carbs, and added sugars. 
all of which put immense stress on the liver. A study from the University of Southern California found that people who ate fast food regularly had a 55% higher risk of developing fatty liver disease. The combination of unhealthy fats and sugar in fast food leads to an overload of calories that the liver has to process, storing excess fat in liver cells and leading to inflammation. Over time, this can cause lasting damage and frequent consumption of fast food is closely linked to liver scarring and even cirrhosis. Think you can't get any worse than fast food? Wait until you hear about number two. Number two, vegetable oils. Not all oils are created equal and vegetable oils like soybean, corn, and sunflower oil can be highly inflammatory. These oils are high in omega-6 fatty acids, which, when consumed in excess, can throw off the body's omega-3 to omega-6 ratio, leading to chronic inflammation. A study from the Journal of Nutritional Biochemistry found that diets high in omega-6 fats can exacerbate liver inflammation and promote the development of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Over time, this inflammation damages liver cells and impairs the liver's ability to detoxify the body. Opt for healthier fats like olive oil or avocado oil, which have been shown to improve liver function and reduce fat accumulation in the liver. So next time you're cooking dinner, swap out that vegetable oil for something your liver will thank you for. And finally, food number one, high fructose corn syrup. The final and perhaps most dangerous food for your liver is high fructose corn syrup. Found in countless processed foods and beverages, high fructose corn syrup is particularly harmful because it's metabolized almost entirely by the liver. A study in the Journal of Clinical Investigation showed that diets high in high fructose corn syrup significantly increased liver fat and inflammation in just 10 weeks. Unlike glucose, which is used for energy throughout the body, fructose is converted into fat by the liver, leading to the development of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. The overconsumption of high fructose corn syrup has been directly linked to increased rates of obesity, diabetes, and liver disease, making it one of the most dangerous ingredients in the modern diet. Now that you know what foods to avoid, how about discovering what you should be drinking to give your liver a boost? Now that you've learned about the 10 foods that could be damaging your liver, it's time to take action. By cutting back on these harmful foods and replacing them with liver-friendly options, you can improve your health and potentially add years to your life. But don't stop here. Your liver also thrives on certain drinks that can detoxify and rejuvenate it. So if you want to learn how to heal your liver and live to be 100, Check out my previous video on the six incredible juices to drink for a healthy, long life. See you there.